Dave, we're just finishing configuring KU to COM. Uh, matter of fact, I think we're done. You should be able to take it. We have it, Charlie, and that is just spectacular. We see the station clearly through the pedals of the docking ring. At the top of uh, the Mir space station is the Soyuz capsule used by... Copy. At the top of the space station is the Soyuz capsule. We have a beautiful picture. We see you zooming in now. This split screen view now on the left side showing the uh, extended docking ring abor above the orbiter docking system and the uh, right hand view again showing the center line camera view from the orbiter docking system as it looks at the uh, blinking lights along the uh, Crystal module's docking port. This is Mission Control Houston as the shuttle Atlantis and the Mir space station pass across the southern tip of South America. Our first views of the shuttle as taken from the Mir and relayed to the United Atlantis, States. Houston. We have video from the Mir spacecraft looking at you. Great, Dave, we copy. Uh, of course, we've got it on our cameras here. We've got the center line up, and uh, that's right, you're not going to have TV for a while, are you? That's right, we won't have it for a while. Atlantis is currently passing over uh, Tierra del Fuego and the southern tip of South America. U.S. astronaut Norm Thaggard is uh, manning the camera here, providing this television view. Again, Atlantis will uh, stop uh, at, a, at a point 30 feet from the Mir space station for five additional minutes of station keeping, at which point uh, Flight Director Bob Castle here in Houston and Russian Flight Director Viktor Blagov in Kaliningrad will uh, take one final assessment of the uh, status of their two vehicles uh, before proceeding on for the docking, which is now less than 15 minutes away. Atlantis about two minutes away from reinitiating its final approach to the Mir space station. Time to docking, less than seven minutes. This picture of the orbiter docking system, it is ready for contact and capture with the Crystal module's docking mechanism. And this television now from the shuttle Atlantis showing a split screen. On the left side, the orbiter docking system's docking ring. At the bottom of the picture, at the top, is the Crystal uh, module's docking port. AOS, Tedris West. 
The picture on the right side shows the centerline camera view out of the orbiter docking system. Copy. Atlantis 16 feet from the mirror, time to docking, 2 minutes 45 seconds. This picture now from the Mir space station showing the approach of the two uh, docking mechanisms toward each other. Atlantis 10 feet from the Mir, time to docking, 1 minute 50 seconds. Atlantis eight feet away, Hoot Gibson edging Atlantis at a rate of less than one tenth of a foot per second. Space shuttle and a space station now six feet from each other, time to docking, one minute. Flight controllers here standing by for contact and capture of the two vehicles against one another. Capture initiated between Atlantis and Mir, 20 years after Apollo Soyuz, a U.S. spacecraft and a Russian spacecraft are once again joined in orbit. Commander uh, Vladimir Dzhurov aboard the Mir also confirms capture. <laughs> Mechanical systems officer here reports that the two uh, docking mechanisms are now aligned. The docking ring on Atlantis should be uh, retracted shortly. Once fully retracted, uh, the structural mating of the hooks and latches on both sides of the docking interfaces will be uh, underway.
This television view from the Mir space station showing Mir 19 cosmonauts Anatoly Soloviev and Nikolai Budarin waving out the windows. Here we see you guys smiling in the window. Soloviev and Budarin just a few hours away from uh, moving into the Mir space station to take over control of the Mir from their colleagues, uh, Commander Vladimir Dzhurov, Flight Engineer Gennady Strekalov, and Cosmonaut Researcher Norm Thager, the first U.S. astronaut to fly on the Mir. Congratulations, Space Shuttle Atlantis, Space Station Mir. After 20 years, our spacecraft are docked in orbit again. Our new era of space exploration has begun. Houston, Atlantis, we agree. Uh, it's a great feeling to be here. Uh, it's a, a massive team effort. Many people have pulled together to make this happen. Uh, we're lucky and we're honored and privileged to be part of this. Uh, it's great to be back joined in orbit again. Here, you loud and clear. Paruski, Adin, 